Welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at uh, past uh, CASNEB exams on application of matrices. With me here, I have a, an exam that was tested, and uh, if you look on top here, it was tested on uh, 20 November 2019. And uh, in our last lesson, we discussed application of matrices and I'm going to a question that was tested in that area and my the question will be uh, this is question number this is question number one C yeah, question number one C the question reads uh, a small economy has two sectors x1 and x2 producing a single product for the internal and external demand in units are summarized in the following transaction matrices. We have the production sector and the purchase sector plus the consumer demand. Then you are told the projected consumer demand changes to 400 and 800 for sector X1 and x2 respectively required you are required to get gross output of each sector in order to meet the new demand when you get this kind of a question you need to form your matrices first get your matrices in order so that you can be able to proceed here we have producers and you have been told that producers are x1 and x2 we have users we have users also x1 and x2 then x1 to x1 is 500 let me put a boundary here of course here i'm supposed to get a matrix so this one i can write this way 500 and this is 600 this is 800 1400 that is our first matrix then there is a final demand matrix final demand matrix our final demand matrix here is 200 and 400 so we get our total demand this is total output we get our total output here our total output, we add 500 plus 800 plus 200. This is 1,500. This is 1,500. 600 plus 1,400 plus 400. This gives you 2,400. Uh, I hope uh, you have uh, gotten how to get the total output here. I'm adding 500 plus 800 plus uh, 200 to give me 1000. Once you are done with that part, this matrix, we call this matrix A. And we call this matrix Y. And here we call this matrix X. From our discussion last time we say that when you want to get x it is i minus a inverse multiplied by y so we need to get a technological matrix first we need to get a technological matrix Now, 
I will still have x1, x2, x1, x2. Here, we need 500 divided by 1500. Remember, the first column, we divide by the total output in the first value. Then here we shall have 600 divided by 1500. Here we shall have 800 divided by the total value in the second, uh, first, uh, in the total output, first column, second, uh, second row, first column. Then we have 1400 divided by 2400. We want this now give us our technological matrix. If I pick my calculator here, I find that 500, 500 divided by 1500 is 0.33. So this matrix becomes this matrix. This matrix become 0 0.33. I do the same 600 divided by to uh, 600 divided by 1500. I take 600 divided by 1500. I get 0 0.40. 0 0.40. Here is 800 divided by 2400. I get 0 0.33. This is 0 0.33. And finally, we have 1400 divided by 2400. This gives me 0 0.58. This is 0 0.58. Now, this is my technological matrix from the information above if i want to find x if i want to find x note it if i want to find x it should be i minus a which i've already given you my a which is now my new technological matrix inverse y so i need to have one minus a then inverse i is the identity matrix in this case it will be 1, 0, 0, 1. I subtract 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.58. 1 minus 0 0.33, this give me, come here, I get 1 minus 0 0.33. 1 minus 0 0.33 this give me 0 0.67 this is I'll get 0 0.67 then 0 minus 0 0.33 I'll get negative negative 0 0.33 0 minus 0 0.4 I'll get negative 0 0.40 and 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.58 i will have uh, 0 0.42 this is 0 0.42 now i need to get the inverse of this uh, matrix how do we get the inverse the first step in getting the inverse is finding the determinant we need to find the determinant. The determinant is the product of the product of the main diagonal. 0 0.67. This will be the product of the main diagonal. 0 0.67 times 0 0.42. Subtract negative 0 0.4 
times negative 0 0.33. My calculator gives me 0 0.67 times 0 0.42, then 0 0.2814. Then minus, because negative times negative is positive, 0 0.4 times 0 0.33. This gives me 0 0.132. Therefore, 0 0.214 minus 0 0.132. This gives me uh, my determinant as 0 0.1494. Therefore, to find the inverse, uh, if I want now to find my x, if I want to find my x, which is the output, I will have the inverse, which is 1 over the determinant, 0 0.1494. Then I interchange, interchange the mid diagonal, 42. Then this is 0 0.42. 0 0.42. Then this is 0 0.67. This is, uh, I change the sign of the other diagonal. So this is 0 0.40. This is 0 0.33. I multiply this by, if you look at the question above, you are told that the projected consumer demand changes to 400 and 800 respectively for X1 and X2. Therefore, I will, my y now becomes uh, 400 and 800. Is 400 and 800. Now, x1, x1, I want you to note this. If you want to find x1, how do we multiply these matrices? It is 1 over 0 0.1. 494 into bracket 0 0.42 times 400 plus 0 0.33 times 800. That is how we get x1. So what is this? If I take my calculator 0 0.42, 0 0.42 times 400, this gives me 168. This is 168 plus 0 0.33 times 800. This gives me 264. 264. So here I have 1 over 0 0.1494 times the sum. This is 264 plus 168. This gives me 432. For that two. So when you have 1 over 0 0.1494 times 4 that 2 is the same as 4 that 2 divided by 0 0.1494, which gives me this is 2891. 91. 91.56. So I approximate the whole number. That is. 2,892. Now, that will be the total uh, output for x1. If you want to find x2, to find x2, x2, it is 1 over the determinant, 0 0.1494. Then, I take the second row, that is 0 0.1494 times 400 plus this second row times this will be 0 0.67 times 800. What do I get here? 0 0.4 0 0.4 times 400 this give me this is 1 over 0 0.1494 then this is 160 plus 0 0.67 times 
times 800. This is 530. This is 536. When I add these two, it is 1 over 0 0.1494 times the sum. Plus 160, this gives me 696. 696. So, 696 divided by 0 0.1494, this gives me uh, this is 4,000 4,658.6 so I write this is I can say 4,558 or I put this 59 I put this 59 Let's let's do it again for the last time. X two, we have said zero point four times four hundred gives you one hundred and sixty. Then the next is zero point six seven times eight hundred give you five that six. You add to one sixty that gives you six ninety six. Divide by the determinant which was zero point zero point 1494. This gives you 4,658.6. Therefore, when you want to produce an unit, you cannot produce a half a unit. So, we are going to have 4,659. So, the total units to be produced here, the total units, yeah. As per the question, look at the question you are asked. The question was asking you, they require the gross output of each sector in order to meet the new demand. So, in order to meet the new demand, in order to meet the new demand, X1 should produce X1, X1 should produce 2,000, 892 units and this is x1 x2 should produce 4659 units so this is what the examiner wanted you to do and uh, uh, we have done it well so kindly keep reading other questions so that which are related to this one thank you we meet in the next video.